Today's video is sponsored by Ava Hair, an online retailer of quality wigs. Thank you so much, Ava Hair, for supporting my content. Hello, friends. Welcome to quarantine Q and A. Ooh, but it doesn't really yeah, have anything to do with like quarantine. I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Lolita mostly. This is your distraction from the world. We thought it would be fun to do a little Q and A. It's been a while since we've done one. Yes. We have done one though. A lot of the questions were how did we meet? And we answered that in the last one. Yes. So go check that out. When we did the last one, was I not wearing a Lolita yet? I don't think so. I think that you were like not really wearing it on your own yet. Cause you weren't wearing Lolita in the last one. I wasn't wearing Lolita in the last one either. This is more of a Lolita couple Q and A. Yeah. yeah. Now that you've fully. Integrated <laughs> into one of us. One of us. This is my girlfriend Holly. For anyone who is new, <laughs> this is my girlfriend. <laughs> people are still like, "Are you dating?" Or like, "Do you live?" Like, people still ask me. I don't know how they could be confused for a couple. Of people are gay, Karen. <laughs> are like, you guys? A couple. <laughs> are you? You know. <laughs> First my head one. Is itchy. My head is also itchy. We're in this together. <laughs> We're all in this together. Um, <laughs> what is each other's favorite piece from each other's wardrobe? Oh, that's an interesting question. I like this question a lot. I might need a second for that. My answer is the bat apron that I got for you. Oh. I really like that piece. Mm -hmm. I would wear that piece. Mm, my first instinct was like, I feel like the biased answer is the dress I just bought you. Mm. But my other instinct to that is, I don't remember the name of it. It's the yellow one with the castles on it. Magical cast, magical princess. Magical yeah, princess. every time you wear that, I'm like, it looks so good on you. Thank and you. And the cut of it is so it's nice. very flattering. I love the ribbon, like kind of corseted ribbon on the front of it. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. It's glittery. It's glittery. Yeah. But yeah, also the one I bought you. Who do you think are the most underrated Animal Crossing New Horizons villagers? What prints do you think are underrated? So those are two different questions. Okay, you wanna go first? <laughs> um, okay, I think when it comes to prints, a lot of meta's underrated. Mm -mm. There's a lot of great bear prints that I forget come from meta and they're usually really affordable secondhand. Mm. I've been kind of thinking about making a video all around just that because Recently, I just, they keep coming up mm -hmm. in my mind and like I visited some friends who are really into meta and like it, I just had completely forgot about it. I'm so like AP centric. <laughs> you, yeah, you're very focused. <laughs> uh, like Teddy Patisserie, Teddy Bakery, there's another Teddy Bear, like the one with the hot air balloons. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. We saw that at KCON. We, you sent it to my closet child and I wanted to buy it, but it was gone immediately. It was only like 70 bucks. It was gone when I sent it to you? Yeah. <laughs> Underrated villagers. I would say Vladimir. He is a cub. And I think that he's really like ugly cute. He's cute and ugly. He has like a deep voice. He's pink. He has like this Russian persona. And it's nice because a lot of the cute bear villagers are like the Uchi and Peppy types. Whereas Vladimir is cranky, so like you have that Variety. diversity in like villager types. Uh, Eugene, my fave boy, is absolutely underrated. No one else ever talks about him. Have you seen him without his sunglasses on? So cute. He's, so cute. He's so cute. I love him so much. Um, I fell in love with him when he moved into my New Leaf town, and then I was like, okay, he has to come with me to New Horizons. So I yeah. feel like my AP dress I just got is underrated, but it's not a print. Yeah. Because I'd never heard anyone talking about it. I just like, when I first was getting into Lolita myself, mm. I like went on Lollyberry and I just like looked through the years of like releases. And I started with Angelic Pretty because that's what Lauren knew best. So I was like, I'm going to start from here. And I saw this dress, um, Pleatzella Mode, which I just got. And I was like, what the heck? I've never seen anyone with this. This is so cute. And uh, yeah, I guess like what I was thinking of like Dolly Cross, but that's not a print. It's yeah. A, a lot of the ones. I think the solids are the ones that are maybe underrated. What alternative fashions besides Lolita do you enjoy the most? Clowns? I don't know, like, that's not really, that's not really like a fashion. It's more like a 
thing. I don't know. I guess Fairy K is what I wear like the most outside of Lolita. <laughs> I would just say goth in general. Yeah. But I don't, like I do wear like kind of goth stuff, but I'm not like hardcore, like dressing up outside of Lolita. Um, I like Visual K too. I've never worn it, but I think it's really cool. Do you have any future couple Lolita cord ideas? Get I feel like this dress in this dress, we were gonna wear together to a con because they have a similar like silhouette. Like we both got these like sleeves yeah. going. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I think so we don't have a lot of coordinating stuff. It's just like opposite. We just kind we of. look opposite, so I feel like it kind yeah. of. Or sometimes works. we take from each other's wardrobes and wear stuff together. Yeah. I want to do like a circusy thing with you. I'd be down. I yeah. don't think I have anything that fits that. I'd have to wear something of yours. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. I do really, really, really want an OG cord eventually, but that's like, I need to collect all the pieces for it, yes. so it's gonna take time. And I feel like the one of the things that like motivates us to do more looks together is like... Convention! <laughs> and now we don't know what our next in, in. event is. I'm really sad. They're all kind I of like, up in the air. Genuinely very much miss conventions. I Me really too. like going to them with you. Yeah! So we're not gonna get get stuck on that for too long because that's depressing. Will you do any more style swap videos? Yeah! Yeah, I feel like you always have great ideas for style swap I videos. still really want to dress you up, like now that I kind of have my own small wardrobe, I want to dress you up in like my Lolita style. Mm -hmm. And I want to put you in Decora for sure. Yeah. Uh. I want to redo, now that I'm in Lolita and I like know more about it, I want to redo putting you in a cord from your wardrobe. Oh, yeah. We did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I was into Lolita. Well, we also chose one that was like something that was difficult. So I feel like yeah. it, that one was not really reflective of like my style necessarily because it was more your style and also it was hard to pair together. Yeah. Cause it was so I random. still have fun with it. Yeah. And, I but there's things I change about it now for sure. Like I yeah. can see what. I mean, I sold that dress because I just didn't like it. <laughs> I thought you liked it. I did like it, but I just Weird see enough. myself coordinating it. It was the a cute dress. There was other things that I wanted. I just, but I'd still love to just put you in Lolita. Have fun with your wardrobe. What? I don't know if you want to answer this. We don't have to. But what's the most controversial cord you've ever made? <laughs> it's up to you whether you want to answer. Or not. Yeah. Um. Obviously, that like crop top thing I did with mm. your honey cake. A lot of people were really not into. Um. People didn't. Realize. I don't like care about it as much now, but at the time I was like very overwhelmed with the responses to it because I posted it like not thinking about the way that people would respond to it. I was just like, oh, this is cute, this is fun. I didn't realize it would start this debate of like, what is and isn't Lolita. I, I understand why now, and I don't think I would post something that experimental in Closet of Frills again because of it. Yeah. Um, not saying that there's anything wrong with experimentation, but just for me, it was a lot to take in with a lot of people mm -hmm. like arguing at me. A lot of people um, treated you too the way that they would treat me, someone who's like been on YouTube for like seven years, who's been in the fashion for like 10 years. And I feel like people need to remember that you're still like new and also like you're not, you're on, you're part of my channel mm -hmm. and you do post up publicly, but you, I don't know, people shouldn't hold you to the same level of scrutiny as someone who's like been online for seven years, you know? I don't think that's necessarily true. I think... Well, I got defensive because I was like, be nice to my girlfriend. <laughs> she didn't I ask think... for this. <laughs> be nice to my girlfriend or I'll finish my life. I think anyone could have gotten that in there, but some of the comments were like a little much. I learned things from that. Um, would I wear that again? Maybe. Probably. I still thought it was a cute outfit, whether it's Lolita or not. And yeah. I enjoyed it and I had fun in it. We had a fun day. Yeah, like the context of it too was it like wasn't for like a Lolita photo shoot. It wasn't for like a mm -hmm. Lolita sponsorship or anything like like an event. It was just we went out for like a date. Like we just yeah. were hanging out. Yeah. It just so happens that my photos look professional. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I so, really like that photo. Yeah, I love it too. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't know what my most controversial chord would be because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I've done is push boundaries, but I also like don't care. Like I don't, I don't post. You're in, used to it at this point. I'm used to it at this point, and like I don't post in closet or frills. Um, and like 
if I'm happy with it, then that's all that matters to mm-hmm. me. There has been stuff where I've tried something and been like, oh, God, this is awful. Like, why did I do this? So it's more like, to me, those stand out in my mind because I tried something and it didn't work. And that's, yeah. like, how you learn yeah. from things, It'd too. It'd be boring if you never tried anything Yeah, different. I think that it's okay to be like, I tried this, it didn't work out, and then try something else. Like, you should be able to go at it with that mindset without feeling, like, shame. Yeah. Also, I just I feel like this is a good time to point out how, you, like, you, when you were courting Honey Cake with striped tights and people were making fun of you, and now everyone does it. Yeah. <laughs> or like that with, out different, there. with different pattern tops too, and then everyone started doing. Yeah, like. I mean, even back in like the early days of Lolita, when you couldn't wear like colored eyeshadow, people would like have a hissy fit because it's supposed to be like natural and clean. Like things change over time. But I think it's really important to be able to try something. And even if it's controversial, or even if you don't like it later on, you just the fact of trying it, like, yeah. you did it. Uh, how much of each other's style have you noticed blending into your style? I feel like we each already had the other style, like, inside of us, <laughs> but we bring it out in each other. But also, mm. I feel like there's things that I don't feel like I need to do because I like appreciate it on you too. Mm. Yeah, for me I think I've always like admired like your kind of style and like cute things from afar, but I always thought for me like I couldn't wear that or I couldn't like that. Um because it'd be weird for some reason. Um and that I couldn't pull off cutesy things. So I think more so it's now like I've accepted that like there's nothing wrong with me liking those things and there's nothing wrong with wanting to try those things. So it's more so that, like, I feel more comfortable experimenting with those kind of things. I feel more comfortable, like, loving cute things. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've, like, definitely, like, recently I made a sweet chord and, like, I want more sweet things and I want some of my own sweet chords, so I think that's definitely hmm. your influence. Yeah. But, yeah. I feel like, for me and Lolita, I've always had this, like, up and down wave of, like, I don't know, there's been so many times when I've thought, like, I had to quit sweet Lolita, like, I had to stop. Mm-hmm. Whether it be like just the times, like reflected, fa- the way fashion was reflecting in times, or like my age, or the people that I was around and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I definitely reached a point where I was like, no, I don't ever need to quit Sweet Alita. And I've always wanted to do goth and like more darker stuff, because there is that side of me. It's definitely like two different fashions for me, mm-hmm. two different mm-hmm. things that I like. But. I felt like I either had to go in all in one or the other because it's a lot of collecting things and money yeah. and space. And so I feel like because you have like your own wardrobe, I can like take from that and experiment with that when I want to. Same, yeah. And there's like less pressure to... We're very lucky. <laughs> yeah, we are very lucky. <laughs> uh, there's less pressure to... Less pressure to like choose one. I feel very fortunate that I, like, if I want to experiment with things, I can just Mm -hmm. be like, hey, can I wear this? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Likewise. (laughs) If you were to get married, would you, would either of you wear Lolita at the wedding? No. I thought you were going to say yes. No, I you going to say, like, one of those big, this is, this big ol' angelic, pretty, like, expensive ass dresses or the baby ones. Maybe. But even that is not big enough. Like we wear oh, this you need to be like extra. We wear this on like a regular basis. <laughs> I need a mountain dress. You know how like I won't even be able to like approach you. You know how because like, it'll it'll be so poofy that I'll just like I won't be able to like kiss you. Well, I'll be, like be bend so at a distance. ninety degree angle. <laughs> no, you know those cakes where it'd be like a Barbie and then like the dr- the cake was the dress. Like, that's yeah. what I'm envisioning yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, huge. Yeah, like, yeah. mattress. Like, just Like, a mattress. Like, like, you got the <laughs> stairs to Versailles going down and the trains, like, going down it. And that's not Lolita. Yeah. No, I've always envisioned myself in, like, a mermaid gown. Something, like, Morticia-esque. Mm. Not... I don't think I would... I don't think I would wear Lolita to a wedding. I also love yeah. those dresses with, like, capes on them. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like the one time you get to wear something like that. So, I mean, you could wear it anytime. Like, wear whatever the heck you want. But yeah. it's an occasion. I don't think I I get to wear Lolita whenever I want. So I think I would. I'm just imagining do something different. like Morticia and like I think her name is Lottie from Princess and the Frog, the blonde girl. <laughs> 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 <That's us. laughs> Who 
are your favorite Animal Crossing villagers and why? Eugene, Muffy, probably Tiffany would be after that, but Eugene and Muffy are my top two. They're so cute. I love them both. Sherb, I very much fall in love with too. Sherb sure came cute. to my island. Mm. I think I found him on a mystery island and invited him. And I was like, I love this little guy so much. He's so cute. Yeah. He's really cute. <laughs>Bob, I wasn't a Bob stand before, yeah, and then you got either. Bob, and I was like, oh dang, Bob's really cute. I never really cared about Bob, like, I thought he was overrated on the internet, and then I got him in New Horizons, and I love him, he's so funny and cute, and just like, he runs all the time with his arms, he Naruto runs. Everyone's gonna be mad that you have Bob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Uh, Stitches is my absolute favorite, Pietro. Uh, Tutu. Bears. All the bears. All the cute little bears. Little bear. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Stitches and Pietro are like my top tier. You need to favorite. post that video of Pietro singing KK Metal. Did he sing metal? Yeah, he's in KK Metal. He sang metal. something and just and watching his mouth when he sings is really song. funny. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh, how has it been to watch Holly's journey in Lolita? Oh. It's been really nice to watch. Aww. I don't know what else to say. Like, I've never had a partner who was... I mean, it's like a rarity to find a partner who, like, accepts Lolita. Like, that's the truth. Like, there's so many people who... It's, like, really common in the community for people who are dating to present themselves not in Lolita and then later have to be like, oh, yeah, I do this thing. Mm -hmm. And so, like, to have someone who not only, like, accepts it, but has your own interest in it is, like, beyond all, anything I could wish for. Mm -hmm. it's, it's such, it's become such, like, a big part of my life and my career. And so if you weren't interested in it, like, it'd be really hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad that I didn't even, I, from the start, was like, you don't have to do this. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in videos, you don't have to dress up, and like, it's been really nice to have you be a part of it, because I just feel like you're now like, in every facet of my life, and I love that, because I don't have to have this like, separate life, mm -hmm. you know? And watching your journey has been really cool, because just created your own style, like, completely on your own, and you've gotten way into it, and, like, you're so much more up-to-date on things than I am, <laughs> and, like, I learned so much about it from you, and also to have this, like, new perspective keeps me really grounded. That sounds dumb, but, like, it's true to, like, because mm. sometimes I get crotchety in my ways, like, it used to be so much hotter, and, like, blah, 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 but then you bring up like, you're a constant reminder of, like, what it is like to get into it now. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if this has been answered before, but where does Holly get her wigs? Greetings from Chile. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's laughing because I steal most of them from her. <laughs> like, this was her wig, and I'm kind of, like, taken over it because it's my favorite wig. <laughs> In case you were wondering where I got my wig, perfect segue, it's from avahair.com. I will have a link to my wig in the description. It's a beautiful blonde curly wig that I've had for a couple of years now, and I really, really love it. It's really comfortable, and I've had fun experimenting with cutting bangs into it and styling it in different ways. And this base wig has so many great opportunities that you can use it for in Lolita fashion. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. So check it out, avahair.com. Uh, what is the best way to cheer your girlfriend up on a bad day? Uh, I mean, we can both answer this. Yeah. I think just doing silly stuff, like silly say, dancing, like goofy things, smaking dumb voices, singing silly songs. Yeah, usually if I'm sad lurk and do something kind of like goofy out of nowhere and I won't be able to be like serious anymore and then you just kind of get out of it but yeah I would yeah. say same thing yeah Other twerking twerking <laughs> <laughs> should I be nervous this is a serious one oh what were you doing the whole day before animal crossing came out <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those like where were you when Kennedy was shot? Oh my god. Um 
Oh, I think it was, it was off the day before. Quarantine, it was. That was the, the day it came out was the last day I was at work. Okay. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't. I remember. <laughs> what happened? What did we do? Well, I don't know what you did. <laughs> But I was on TikTok. Oh my god. <laughs> I was on TikTok for like a week straight before Animal Crossing came out. And now I like I was really into it. And now I just like don't care about TikTok anymore. I got You'll really, into it again. really into it. And then I just stopped. I made one TikTok. It got a million views. And then, and then you were like, this is my peak. I'm yeah, done. I'm done. I'm out. You know, like, <laughs> one and done, they say, with TikTok. I'm mad that I can't remember. I feel like I played some New Leaf. Yeah, I think you were playing New Leaf. I think you also were on TikTok. And I think you did work. So you came home. Played New Leaf. Sounds about right. Watch TikTok. I was just like in a TikTok fever dream. I just, I watched like so many hours. I got those warnings of like, you need to take a break. You've been watching Oh my TikTok. god. I didn't know that TikTok would do that. I'm gonna be real with y'all. There's another hour and a half of this footage and about 10 more questions, but this video is already pretty long. And I was planning on having some convention footage this month for my extended content patron levels. But due to quarantine, those conventions have been postponed or cancelled. So I'm going to make an extended cut of this video. Basically, a second video for my extended video patrons. If you're interested, head over to patreon.com slash lovelylore. Every video next. is an Animal Crossing video. Next. That's the world that we are living in. Mm -hmm. We only lived in the time that was before Animal Crossing New Horizons and then yeah, after. after. It was B. A, C, and H, and now it's a, A, C, and H. I love how long that took. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>